Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Happy to Crochet. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how I made this little dress for a baby between 9 to 12 months old. It's very easy to make. I have used cotton thread number 3 with 2.5 mm crochet hook. If you want, you can make this dress little bigger using lightweight yarn and 3 to 3.5 mm crochet hook and you will get approximate size of 12 to 18 months. Now this size what I am giving you is an approximate size and since all babies are not the same size. So if you see I have used a shell stitch for the skirt pattern and it's very beautiful and elegant looking. This is the front side. I have used a ribbon to make this flower and this is the back side. So now without any further delays let's get started and thank you for watching. So for today's tutorial I am using Alize brand cotton gold. It is 100 gram and uh, 330 meters and approximately 361 yards. The color I am using here is number is 446. It is 55% cotton and 45% acrylic. The recommend size of this hook for the yarn is 2 to 4 millimeter. So I will be using today 2.5 millimeter measuring tape and a button, darning needle and a pair of scissors. So we will begin with a slip knot. And we will work chain 88. Don't make your chain too tight, it should be loosely made. Not too loose or not too tight, just have check your tension. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Let's check the centimeter. So this is 30 centimeter. So after working 88 chains, you have to add two chains. One and two. Now skip three chain. You don't count this as a chain. So this is one, two, and three. Into the fourth one, you'll make one double crochet. So this is your first double crochet chain three, and this is your second double crochet. Now you're going to work total of 11 double crochet for the front side 3 4 5 6 7 
10, and 11. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Now we have to work our corners. So for corners, we are going to work chain 2 and 1 double crochet into that same chain space. One more time I will show you. So this is your 11 double crochet. 11 double crochet. For corner you are going to work chain 2 and then you are going to work in that same 11th double crochet, 1 double crochet. We will not count this while working our sleeves because this is our corner double crochet. So our corner will work as chain 2, 1 double crochet. So now again you have to work your 22 double crochet for the sleeves so we don't count this so we will count from here one two three So again I am at the corner so I'll chain two, one, two and I'm going to work one double crochet in the same last 22nd double crochet of the sleeve. Now again for the back I'm going to work 22 double crochet so I'm going to count from here.
again I am at my third corner so chain 2 and one double crochet into that same chain space and now I'm going to work my second sleeve 22 double crochet and I will meet you at the now I am at my last corner for that chain 2 and one double crochet into that same chain space now I am going to work 11 double crochet for my front side so not counting this but from here this is one two Three, four, five, six, This last one, eleven. So after working this fourth row, the yoke will look something like this. this chain and you are going to work into this one double crochet then chain one skip one one double crochet chain one skip one one double crochet into the next chain chain one skip one one double crochet into the next chain one skip one one double crochet into the next then chain one I've got here one you'll skip this into the corner you will work one double crochet chain two and one double crochet into that same chain space now you'll do chain one and repeat you will skip this and you are going to work one double crochet into the next one then you will chain one skip one one double crochet into the next chain one skip one one double crochet into the next continue to do this all the way across to the end and i will meet you at the end for your corners you work one double crochet chain two one double crochet over here into the third corner also you will work one double crochet chain two one double crochet into the fourth one double crochet chain two one double crochet and you will follow the pattern that is chain one skip one and one double crochet into the next so continue to do this and i will meet you at the end of this so i am at the end now i have here one chain 
and chain 3 so I'm going to work chain 1 skip 1 and I'm going to work 1 double crochet on the top of the chain 3 This is how I finish my row 2 and it will look something like this. Now for row 3 we are going to make chain 3 1 2 3 and turn and then we are going to work one double crochet into each stitch until the corner so this counts your first double crochet then your second chain is here work one double crochet then into this work one double crochet then into the next the chain one you have to work one double crochet double crochet one double crochet then into that chain one one double crochet one double crochet on top of the double crochet then into the chain one one double crochet we have reached this corner so for the corner you are going to work one double crochet chain two one double crochet then you are going to work into this double crochet one double crochet then chain one space sorry chain one you are going to work one double crochet then on this so continue this until the end for your corners you are going to work over here one double crochet chain two one double crochet then into this corner one double crochet chain two one double crochet into this one double crochet chain two one double crochet and you will work one double crochet into every stitch so continue to do this and i will see you over here at the end of this round so i finished working my row three and now we are going to join this for that take the second end and into the third that is 
वन टू थ्री ओवर य I am going to slip stitch. Now I am going to chain four. One, two, three, and four. So after chaining four, I am going to skip this one, and I am going to work one double crochet into the next. Then chain one, skip one, one double crochet. 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 Chain one. Skip one, one double crochet. Chain one, skip one, one double crochet. Chain one, skip one. In this corner, you are working. One double crochet. Chain two, and one double crochet. Chain one, skip one, one double crochet. So continue to do this all the way across to the end, and I will see you at the end over here to show you how to end this row. For your corners, you are working one double crochet, chain one, one double crochet. I am at the end of round four now. I have made one double crochet. I am going to slip stitch into this over here. Chain. And now I am going to turn my work and repeat row. This is. Row one, two, and three. We are going to repeat row three. For that, I'm going to chain two, turn my work, and then I'm going to place one double crochet into every stitch. This is my one. Two. Now, in row two, we had worked into the chain, but in this round, I'm going to work into this space. So this is here, then into this double crochet. Then I'm going to work again into the space. This is chain one space. Then I'm going to work into this. Double crochet, then in the chain space, then in on that double crochet, then into this chain space, then on that double crochet, then in the chain space. Then on that double crochet, then into that chain space, that double crochet. Then I have reached this corner. So for the corner, I am going to work one double crochet. Chain two, one double crochet. See. Now I will continue again into this chain space. Sorry, into this double crochet. I'm going to work one double crochet. Then into this chain space, one double crochet. 
so continue to do this until the end don't forget to work your corners one double crochet chain to one double crochet and uh, one double crochet into every stitch so in chain one space instead of working in chain one you work in the space and i will meet you at the end of this row to show you how to end this row so now i'm at the end of row five and i'm going to slip stitch and after working five rows this is what your yoke will look like So from here onwards, you are going to repeat row 4 and row 5 until you have a yoke height of 13 cm. So I will work my yoke and I will see you after working my yoke for about 13 cm. So I finished working my yoke and I have worked 11 rows. One, two. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11 and the yoke height is 13 cm. So now we are going to join our sleeves. So for that going to chain one two and three and turn my work and now one more chain four I'll skip this into the next one I'm going to work one double crochet chain one skip one one double crochet chain one skip one one double crochet chain one skip one one double crochet continue to work this until the first corner and I will show you how to join a sleeves I have worked until my sleeves and I need to skip one so chain one skip one into this corner I'm going to work one double crochet then I'm going to chain one and I am going to reach my second corner over here into this I'm going to work one double crochet chain one now work one double crochet until your third corner and i will see you over here i have reached my third corner i have chained one i'll work one double crochet into this corner chain one i'll skip all the stitches and i will come to my fourth corner over here and then I am going to work one double crochet into that corner chain one and then skip one you have to work the same chain one skip one one double crochet into the next stitch so continue this until the end over here and I will show you how to join this row.
so now i am at the end and you need to join into the third chain so you are going to slip stitch into the third chain from here so this is my third so i am going to insert my hook into that third chain After joining the sleeves, your work will look something like this. Now you are going to repeat double crochet row and this block row two times. So. You will work two rows of double crochet and two rows of block alternatively and I will see you after working those four rows all together. Finished working four rows and after working four rows the work looks something like this. Now we are going to start with a skirt pattern. For that chain three one two and so three. after making three chain you are going to work one double crochet into this box so this is one now chain two and work two more double crochet into that same box so this is one and this is so this is your first shell now you're going to skip this box you're going to work into the next box you'll work two double crochet chain two and two double crochet Again you will skip this next box, you will work into the next two double crochet, two, chain two, two double crochet, one and two. So you need to repeat this until the end. You will skip one box into the next box you will work two double crochet chain two two double crochet so continue to work until the end and i will show you how to end this row so now i have this two boxes so i will skip this one and i will make my last shell into this box two double crochet chain two and Two double and I am going to slip stitch into this over here this one this one this one and this is how after working the shell the row will look like now for the next row we are going to slip stitch into this chain space then we are going to chain one and we will work one double crochet chain two and then you are going to work two double crochet You see we made one more shell on top of this. Now we are going to skip this triangle here 
and we are going to work two double crochet chain two and two double crochet so for this row you will be repeating this only in chain space you are going to work two double crochet chain two two double crochet so continue to do this all the way across until here and i will show you how to end this row so now i am at the end of my second row you see we have made here chain one we need to start a slip stitch into that chain then we are going to slip stitch into the next double crochet and then into this chain two space we are going to slip stitch chain one and now we are going to work two double crochet one two chain two and two double crochet into that same chain space Now you are going to work two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet into that chain two space from the previous row. So continue to work two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet into this chain two space from the previous row until the end and i will show you how to end this row so now i am at the end of our row 3 we are going to slip stitch into this chain 1 and this is how your row 3 of skirt pattern will look like now row 4 is our increase row. For that we are going to slip stitch into this chain and this chain. So this is 2 double crochet of the first shell from row 3. So we are going to slip stitch into first double crochet and second double crochet. like this now we are going to chain one and we are going to work one double crochet into that same slip stitch space that is the second double crochet from the previous row first shell so this is my one double crochet and now in this chain two space i'm going to work Two double crochet this is my one two chain two and two double crochet one and two now since we worked into this double crochet one double crochet so on the other side also we are going to work into this double crochet one double crochet so this is an increase shell so you have worked two slip stitch into onto this uh, double crochet you have worked one double crochet into the chain two space you have worked two double crochet chain two two double crochet and then into this double crochet you have worked one double crochet now you are going to skip next double crochet and this double crochet so that is two double crochet you are going to skip into this double crochet you are going to work one double crochet then into the chain 2 space you are going to work 
टू डबल क्रोशे चेन टू टू डबल क्रोशे एंड टू एंड देन इन टू द नेक्स्ट डबल क्रोशे यू आर गोइंग टू वर्क वन डबल क्रोशे अगेन यू आर गोइंग टू स्कीप वन टू यू आर गोइंग टू वर्क इन टू दिस into this double crochet one double crochet then chain two space two double crochet chain two two double crochet then into the next double crochet you are going to work one double crochet then again you are going to skip one two double crochet into the next double crochet you are going to work one double crochet into this chain two space you are going to work two double crochet one two chain two and two double crochet so continue to do this all the way across till the end and i will show you how to end this row so now i am at the end of row 4 i am going to slip stitch into this chain 1 then for row 5 i am going to slip stitch into first second this one we here and i'm going to chain one and i will start my row from here now i am going to work one double crochet into that same slip stitch space and then in this chain two i'm going to work double crochet chain 2 two double crochet then i'm going to work one double crochet into the next stitch because here i have worked on this double crochet so i will be working on this double crochet Now I am going to skip two double crochet from here one two and two double crochet into the next shell that is one two and on to the third one I am going to work one double crochet then into the chain space I am going to work two double crochet chain 2 and two double crochet 1 and 2 and then into the next double crochet i'm going to work one double crochet then i'm going to skip one two and then from the next shell i'm going to skip one two so into the third one i'm going to work one double crochet then into the chain space i'm going to work two double crochet chain two two double crochet so continue to do this until the end and slip stitch over here in chain one space then you are going to work the same you are going to work for every row the same way you are going to slip stitch here you are going to work one double crochet here after slip stitching then two double crochet chain two two double crochet into this chain space then you are going to work one double crochet into this stitch and you are going to work eight rows like that and then i will show you 
how to increase your next row so you work eight rows in the similar way and i will see you after working eight more rows so you i am back i have worked 10 rows instead of eight rows so this was my pattern i continued three rows 1 2 3 and this was my increase row so this is one increase row that is the fourth row and from here i have worked 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so including this it is 10 rows so all together i have 13 rows and the pattern looks something like this which is really very pretty so now we will move on to our 14th row which is also the second increase row so the fourth row was our increase row and we continued the re repetition of the fourth row until the 13th row now 14th row will be one more increase row for that i'm going to slip stitch into the next double crochet until a previous row we used to make three slip stitches that is the one year one year one year one year and then from here we used to make one chain one one double crochet and then we used to work into this chain two for an increase we are going to slip stitch only into the second one then we will work chain 1 and work one double crochet into that same space then we are going to work one more double crochet into the next so now we have this two double crochet one and two now we have go to work into the chain space two double crochet one two chain two and again two double crochet into the same chain two space so this is how we are going to work in our chain two now next we have to add two stitches because starting we added two stitches now we are going to add again two stitches so this one one double crochet and into the next one double crochet so this is how we make a second fan increase now we are going to skip one and two until our previous row we used to skip four stitches now we are going to skip only the two stitches and into the next one we are going to work one double crochet then into the next we are going to work one double crochet then into this chain two space two double crochet chain two and two double crochet into the same chain two space then we are going to work one double crochet into this stitch and then one double crochet into the next so continue to do this repeat until the end over here and i will show you how to end this row so i am at the end of my 14th row i'm going to slip stitch into this chain one over here then i'm going to slip stitch into this first and second now i'm going to chain 1 i'm going to work one double crochet into that same chain space then into the next i'm going to work one double crochet 
then I have this chain 2 space same I'm going to work 2 double crochet 2 chain 2 and 2 double crochet into that same chain 2 space Now here, in the beginning I had worked 2 double crochet, so I am going to work 2 double crochet into the next 2 stitches. So now on our 14th row, we used to skip only 1 stitch, here we have 1 and 2. And the next shell also we are going to skip 1 and 2, so total. 1, 2, 3 and 4. So into the next chain over here, we are going to work 1 double crochet into the next 2 stitches. Then we are here in the chain 2 space. So that will be worked at 2 double crochet, chain 2, 2 double crochet. Then into the next two stitches you are going to work one double crochet each then you are going to skip one two three four and then into the next you are going to work one double crochet again one double crochet and into the chain two space you are going to work two double crochet chain two two double crochet so continue to work the same until the end over here and I will show you how to end this row. Now I am at the end of my row 15. I am going to slip stitch into this chain 1 space. And this is how I complete my row 15. So now the height of my dress from top of my neckline till the bottom is 38 centimeter. You are going to repeat row 15 until you get 42 to 43 centimeters so work row 15 until you get a height of total 42 to 43 centimeters and i shall meet you then so i have done working my rows and i have made extra three rows after 15 through so this is all together 18 rows I have also added here the ribbon and the flower. This is optional if you want you can add it if you don't want you can simply leave it like that. And this is our sleeve. So now we are going to work the sleeves. So we will attach yarn into this loop over here but we need to take the both the chain so like this put the yarn and pull it over tie Now we are going to insert the hook into that same loop and then we are going to chain 1. 
chain one and two we are going to work two double crochet one and two chain two and two double crochet two all into the same chain space so after working this shell we are going to skip this two double crochet over here and this one double crochet over here into the next double crochet we are going to work again our shell so that is two double crochet two chain two and two double crochet into that same chain space one and two now you are going to skip again three that is one two and three into the fourth you are going to work again the shell stitch so two double crochet chain 2 and 2 double crochet 1 and 2 again skip 3 1 2 3 into the fourth work shell stitch that is 2 double crochet 1 2 chain 2 and Again, two double crochet into that same chain space so continue to work this all the way across to the end and I will show you how to end this row you need to skip chain 3 then into the fourth you have to work shell stitch that is two double crochet chain to two double crochet and then again skip 3 so continue to do that until the end and I will show you how to end this row. So I am towards the end and you should have 13 shell stitches. So I am going to slip stitch into this space over here. Then I am going to slip stitch into the first chain space here and the second and then into this chain 2 space so for row 2 we'll chain 1 and work 1 double crochet into that same space we'll work 1 more double crochet and now chain 2 and then Two double crochet again after working this shell stitch we are going to skip one two three four again into the chain space we are going to work two double crochet one and two chain 2 and 2 double crochet again into the chain 2 space 2 double crochet chain 2 2 double crochet So continue to work 2 double crochet chain 2 2 double crochet into every chain 2 space and I will see you at the end to show you how to end this row. So this is 
the end and I am going to slip stitch into that chain 1 space. is how our sleeve is going to look so now I am just going to snip off my yarn like this and then I am going to pull that thread from this loop and here I am going to put a knot and this you, you need to sew the end. So so this is how the hands will look like okay, like this. You need to sew this end, and now I'm going to show you how to make the buttonhole so for that I am going to attach my yarn into this over here this is my turning chain so count three one two three into this chain over here into this so I need to take both the loops so this is my turning chain so I have taken this one see Yes. Now I am going to attach my yarn into that loop. because I don't have too much of space to attach here so I'm going to pull my yarn so this thread I'm going to leave it short and now I am going to tie this lace onto my yarn the working yarn so this is my one knot and this is my second knot and now I am going to work one single crochet into that same stitch it's really little difficult single crochet then here I'm going to work two single crochet because here two stitches are there this is one and two then I am going to work into this into this space two single crochet one 
and 2 then into this double crochet i am going to work two single crochet one and two then you have this bottom one single crochet into this sing, uh, sorry one double crochet you have to work two single crochet one and two now again you have this over here this one loop you can work one stitch is there one single crochet then here you have a double crochet you have to work two single crochet so into every double crochet i'm working two single crochet then you have this double crochet you have to work two single crochet then now i'm going to make here a button hole for that i'm going to work chain 2 1 and i'm going to skip this double crochet and into the top one over here i'm going to work one single crochet so this is my double crochet i'm going to skip that and into the top of that i'm going to work one single crochet so this is my button so after working this single crochet i will snip off my yarn because i am done with my button hole and then i'm going to pull out this piece of yarn from that one and this is how i will make my button hole i will sew this end and i will meet you then so this is how the finished dress will look like the measurement of this dress is from the top of the neckline up to the sleeve it is 15 cm that is approximately 6 inches then the waist is about 20 cm that is about 8 inches and the length from the top of the neckline to the bottom is 42 cm which is about 16 and a half inches so this dress will fit for a 1 year old baby i hope you like it and thank you so much for watching i invite you to subscribe to my channel if you are making the same project please share the picture of your work on my facebook page the link is below in the description i will see you with another tutorial until then goodbye